gonna do one of my older pieces, which is like uh, from earlier this year, and it's called A Miracle Was Supposed to Be a Husband. Oh, yeah, that's that shit. Can y'all hear me without the mic? Yeah. Hell yeah, no. Not over here. <laughs> y'all already know the piece, so it don't matter. All right, here we go. <laughs> America was supposed to be a husband to New Orleans until God intervened and sent Katrina. Then instead of him being there for his wife, he just turned his back like time to go to war and fled to Iraq where he could be a better man. Because we all know it's foolish to take care of home when your mistress needs you in Afghanistan. Good plan to pretend like your relationship was getting heavy. Putting more strain on your marriage than breaking the levees to watch your people drown. I hope your pupils drown in the blood of your broken vows. Tell me, can you hear the sounds of your kids crying? Or your wife trying to call out for help? Even FEMA stuck up the middle finger and said, do it yourself. And that was supposed to be your best man. You know the one we all invest in. The one with the best plan. But he just came by, said hi, and left money on the nightstand. As if shit was selling be all right. Even packed his bags, took a flight, and was in desert by night. I bet you spent your honeymoon thinking of ways that you could creep like knocking down the Twin Towers, pretending you're not a coward, so you can openly cheat with a woman who has no self-control. But oils you down daily. You define a soul of gold with a heart like a tin man. When you shake your head, I'm sure it sounds like a tin can. You don't care about peace, and your wife seen no justice. Can somebody please find the Republican preacher party that blessed this, so we can put him on display. Ask questions like, why is it cool for your kids to lose their lives in Iraq but not be gay? And why did your man think it was okay to move out of town? Why his wife lay his face down to drown in his mistakes? I talked to God last night and he assured me that heaven will padlock the gates to make sure you never have a chance. I'm sure your inaugural dance, I mean the dance at your reception, was full of deception. You are a misconception. You lead with misdirections. You bleed erections of your cocky White House reflection. And I can still see the reflection of all the guys that drowned in your fake world terrorism Katrina, New Orleans, Iraq, Bush orgy, you are the millennium Georgie Porgy, cause you kiss the girls and you make them cry, you start the wars and you watch them die, I hope hell open the door so we can watch you cry when your wife was standing on top of that water, I'm sure you were anticipating her jump, that was really clever of you to get a prenup, America was supposed to be a husband to New Orleans until God intervened and sent Katrina, then him and his man Fema moved to Iraq, cried her a river, and just turned their backs. Mm.